Hey there fellow Minecraftians, welcome to another video and today I'll show you wireless redstone in vanilla Minecraft. I'm currently using the first 1.7 snapshot 13w36a and well, let me just show you. I've got a floating platform with some TNT on there, absolutely no redstone going to it. I hit this button and it explodes. There you go. Now it works quite simply but first let me show you another example. Here I've got this door, I've got this floating command block, so I guess you can already see that it works with command blocks. I hit it, door opens. It will stay open until I hit it again, which will make it close. So it's fairly simple, I'll show you the basic idea. And this one actually is really simple, because in 1.7 you can use a new command, the summon command. Um, and with summon falling sand you can summon or spawn any block that you wish. So with that I simply spawned a redstone block. So right here I've got this summon falling sand, then the coordinates and the tilde makes it relative to the command block, so minus 4 from the command block in the x axis, 0 in the y and 0 on the z. Then the tile ID is um, the ID, the data value of the block, 152 is the redstone block and time is 1 means that it will not go away because that will also happen, I'll show you that in a second. So when I hit this button, as you can see, it simply spawns a redstone block. Same happens here. Just a redstone block is spawned there. And when TNT is around it, it will blow up. Now, for the door, I needed something a little bit more difficult. Because you can't open it. Because, I mean, you can't close it again. Because this block won't go away suddenly. After playing around with it for quite a while, I found this. When um, I actually spawn a redstone torch on top of an already existing redstone torch, it will turn it off for a brief second, as demonstrated here. And this is what I said about time equals zero. So I've got it time times default uh, to zero. So when at zero, it will disappear again very quickly without actually staying. So that will give a very short pulse, uh, and when you invert it, it will make a very short on pulse. And that's exactly what I used over here. I've got another command block that has the exact same code as that one, to show what I mean. So this one will spawn a redstone torch on top of this one, which will make it go off. And then the signal will very shortly go into this. And this is basically a T flip-flop, which makes this single signal... Um, turn into basically a lever, either on or off, so let me show you how it works. You see that? It turns off very shortly, which uh, activated this T flip-flop and opened the door. Now you do it again, T flip-flop turns it off again, and there you go. Now there are very much designs from this T flip-flop, and you can use any that you like, so you can also do this on the ground very easily, so you can hide it. Let me show you two more examples, I guess you're ready. Uh, get how it works right now, so I won't explain much more about it. Um, about the range, it's quite far. You can see absolutely ro no redstone once more. I hit this button, and there's some TNT in that house. And the house is gone. Now the range is as far as the chunks are loaded, because this will only work in loaded chunks. So, there you go. Another example would be this train station. Let's say your train cart is at the... <laughs> absolute wrong side though there's already one track here so let me remove that one so it won't go wrong but um, you can very simply call your train minecart thingy by hitting this button which once again spawns one of those redstone torches and wait for it wait for it there you go your minecart will come flying towards you so that's pretty cool let me just send it back the other way we go and I'll very quickly show you this uh, you already guess probably you can guess what is going on here same thing this one will get replaced which will be inverted so a very short pulse this thingy right here makes the pulse longer activating power drill and sending it on its way so there you go really simple and that's about it I think it's a rather cool feature a well feature a thing you can do and um, yeah, I really liked playing around with it. Maybe you can try it again yourself as well. This is the command to spawn blocks. And yep, there you go. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you the next time.